right, so here's Dennis Gage arriving at the KUMC car show, waving to everybody. He is the host of this car show today. Here is the South Florida Classic Cobra Club. They got a nice little turnout today. And then we have the South Florida Classic Mustang Club also. So let's start off with this 1968 Ambassador SST. It has a 343 V8 engine. Let's check out that engine compartment. Let's check out this interior. Next to that is the 1974 Alpha GTV 2000 owned by Dennis. I highlighted this video in one of my previous videos. If you want to see a story about this build and the history behind this car, go check it out. This car is beautiful. There's Dennis Blair. So here we have this white Bremen Sebring based off of a VW chassis. Very interesting. Kit car, obviously. And now we have this beautiful 1960 Austin Healey. That paint job is just spectacular. Next, oh, now it's time to rev the engines. Everybody's revving those engines. Here's a 1960 Renault. Looks a lot like a Volkswagen Bug from the back. Simple interior. Then we have this 1930 Ford. This thing looks gorgeous. Paint job. What do you guys think? If you guys like these videos, please let me know, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. We have this 1942 Willys. The old school chairs. I remember those. It's four door. Let's try to take a peek inside, but yeah, the reflection. Now we got this gorgeous Ford. I love that back seat. I got this Studebaker. Love those white wall tires. The weather is awesome. Can't beat it. Check out the spare tire. I love that white wall. Let's try to take a look here. Hard to tell with the reflection also. All the cars here are in spectacular condition also.
most car shows that I go to have great cars. Look at this interior, I love that bench seat. And then of course, this guy's at every car show I go to. It's a 1955 Buick convertible. Amazing condition. For those who have not seen this car before, check out my other car shows. He's at all of them. Just beautiful condition. Now check out this Cadillac. That front grille was amazing and I love the wing in the back. It's a Cadillac, it's a cream puff, as Scarface would say. Here's another one. Let's take a look at the back of this so you can see. Looks like the Batmobile. This is convertible. I wish he would have had the top down. Plenty of room. Now we got this uh, 1970 Plymouth GTX. Check this engine out. You guys have also seen this in previous shows. This car is just spectacular. It is mint condition. That green pops. I just love this car. He has that original dealer sticker. And now we have another 1970 Plymouth Cuda with a 440. Look at the engine bay on this thing. These cars are both in just amazing condition. Beautiful. Let's take a look. Here's the 440 sticker. Let's take a look inside. It's brand new. This thing is amazing. And now we have this Pontiac GTO 1964. Again, look at the condition of these cars. This engine compartment is spectacular. I love the color combination with the color in the rims, convertible top, with the accents on the seats, it just looks gorgeous. Steering wheel, it's a really nice car. Now we have this Oldsmobile, I couldn't see what year it was. So if you guys know what year this car is, let me know. Simple four door. And then this guy with his 1970 Chevelle with a 454. Let's take a look at this speed killer. Beautiful. He was telling me that was for Ford guys. Now we have this 1967 El Camino. This El Camino is in spectacular shape as all the other cars are. But take a look at this thing. This thing looks great.
Nice black interior. Really nice. Now we have this Chevy. This one didn't have a year on it either, but check out this engine on this thing. What do you guys think? Let me know. Nice custom interior. Now we have this 1976 Cadillac. Looks like an AACA winner, national. This thing looks like a boat. Look how big this thing is. Beautiful. Nothing like a Cadillac. Look at that. Nice and comfy. And this, this is my friend with a 1964 Thunderbird that we've seen in the past. I didn't give him a lot of love and I felt bad. So I just wanted to give a shout out to him and let him know that I do like his Thunderbird. It's a beautiful color, in beautiful shape. Check out this gorgeous Thunderbird. Let's take a look inside. Check out this interior. I appreciate you and I appreciate your car. So let's take a look, check this out. Let's move the steering wheel back into place. Awesome, thanks for letting me showcase your car. Check out this 1971 Chevy Chevelle SS. I think we've seen this car in one of my previous videos before also, but for those who haven't, here she is. Now we have this 1966 Pontiac GTO. I love the face on these things. But check out this engine in this. My mom had one of these growing up. Obviously not with that engine. I'll try to peek in, but it's hard to see with the reflection. So here's a 1970 GTO. Completely different look in the front, but super, super cool. Those guys are in my way, so let me go around the back. Look at this interior, it's just perfect. Looks like it's brand new. Now we have this 1971 Duster 340. Here's another one of those dusters that, I don't know what the story is with these guys and the dusters, but all their cars are just mint condition. They're just spectacular. They look like they just came out of the showroom. Check out this orange interior. What do you guys think of that? Now we got this Mercedes. Now this Mercedes is all original paint, all original everything. The lady here was the owner of it. I forgot to get the year, but all original, unrestored. And look at the condition of this car. Someone was going for a ride. Check out this 1970 Duster. Again, look at this condition of these cars. Roadrunner with a Hemi.
This interior looks like it just came out of the showroom. Look at that, brand new. Hey, someone's there, Roadrunner. There he is, let's take a look. We had a lot, a lot of nice cars here, but I want you to check out this 1948 Buick, super convertible. Check out the Fireball engine. That thing is sweet. Check this thing out. Now we got this 1940s Ford Coupe. Very modernized. Check out the engine. All chromed out. See the shine from that paint job. I love these split windows. Let's take a look. Very cool. This car was in spectacular shape. Now we have this customized Ford. This thing is pretty insane. Low to the ground. Now this is American graffiti all the way. Nice blower. These tires are sick. Look how fat they are. Here we got this 1932 four-door Ford sedan like a raven black guys let me know what you think again i hope you're enjoying these i love to see all these classic cars and i want to show them to you and let you guys see them in nice 4k quality so you can feel like you're there if there's any type of things you want me to do let me know i'll try to do it i know these videos are a little long but they are car shows so i want to highlight all the different cars Check out this Bel Air. I love the yellow with the white interior. I'm not. Let's take a look in the trunk. All customized. Look at that thing. Speaker system in the back. He's got the door open, so let's go take a walk inside. Let's see how it is. Wow. Beautiful. Check out this 1948 Caddy. I hope you can tell how long this thing is. It's huge. Here's Gabriel's 1991 BMW. Check out his BMW. Gabriel's a great kid. He's a young kid, knows a lot about classic cars, and hopefully I'll be uh, interviewing him one day so you guys can meet Gabe. Gabe is awesome. He takes his favorite cars and makes them out of Legos. Check out that interior. Here we got a 442 Oldsmobile.
This is the blue one with the white interior. This thing looks brand new. Stick shift, 442. And now we have a red 442 right next to it. I love those head scoops. This is the red with the white interior. This one has a little bit of a more sporty look with the tail. Gorgeous. Check out this 1965 Chrysler Town & Country. Watch this. This thing is awesome. I highlighted this one in one of my other videos, I think in Art Deco car show. Check this thing out. Imagine cruising around in this thing with the family, kids in the back. Now here are the vintage trucks. They had a bunch of nice ones. Check out this thing. Couldn't get a year, but interesting, like a work truck, vintage work truck. They had a bunch of beautiful vintage trucks here. So as you can see, check out this lineup. Let's start with this 1963 Chevy C10, customized, chromed out engine. And we have this 1946 Chevy. Looks like a beautiful farmer's truck with the American flags. Love the wood. Very nice truck. Now we're on this 1977 Toyota Land Cruiser. Let's take a look inside this Land Cruiser. Check out this 1959 Chevy pickup truck. Patina it out. He was talking to the owner. He uses this car for some photography businesses, so he rents this thing out and for videos. So he's got a couple props in the back. There he is. 
Now check out this 1969 Chevy. That is a huge engine bay. And check out that engine. Plenty of room. Love the wood trim and the paneling. Nice interior with the modern seats. And here's Tony getting judged on his truck. You guys have seen this guy's truck many times. Did you win anything? Not yet. <laughs> And this is Lucas Alvarez, the LA6 Foundation. If you guys haven't seen this video, I have a video about this kid. He loved cars, he wanted to be a mechanic, and unfortunately, he died in a tragic boating accident. So his father takes his car around, created a foundation to try to raise money to help other kids who want to be mechanics and get into the car business, or AC vac. Take a look at my video support this guy. It's an amazing foundation and a great cause. Now we have a 1986 Z28 owned by Robert. Robert came to me and goes, hey man, I'm a, I'm a follower of yours and you've never highlighted my car. So Robert, I apologize. Check out his beautiful 1987 Z28. Robert's at a lot of car shows and I've bypassed him by mistake. So take a look, look how beautiful. This guy's had this car for years. Look at this interior. Just an amazing car in an amazing condition. Check out this Daytona 500 pace car, Trans Am. All right, so here's the VW area. They had their own little area. Dennis Gage came over and met George with his VW bus, which he's in other videos of mine. So Dennis was awesome. He was great. He walked around, said hi to everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Please subscribe. So let me know. Hopefully you enjoy it. And until next time, I leave you with this beautiful VW bug. Take care.